Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and I thought I would share with you a really annoying thing. It's like the most annoying thing I've ever had happen to me so far this lifetime. I don't I don't know about previous lifetimes, but you know, th this one. This one, this one's up there. It's pretty high. So, I have a few projects projects I need to get loaded. And I got them all set to go in Premiere and had them queued up so I could go to bed. You can see it's 4 in the frickin' morning. And then, when I came back after getting a sandwich or something, uh, everything was failed. And you can see, it is trying its hardest, trying oh so very hard, to connect to Dynamic Link Server. Now I heard that you can uh, fix this. By going to your program files, Adobe, and then Premiere Pro, and then there's this. You can create a shortcut uh, for that, just called Premiere, and you would want to send that to, uh, nope, not that one. There we go. Common Files, Adobe, and then Dynamic Link. And then she, and before After Effects and Premiere both had a like default icon, not the actual uh, Premiere or After Effects icon. Uh, as for this, it's still trying to connect. Uh, spoiler, it's not going to. We'll let it not, get, not do it. Which in media server? I'm not quite sure. Hmm, this program files x86 also need the thing. I will copy those just in case. Because I'm going to go to program files not x86. Common Files, Adobe, where's Media Encoder? It's not here, okay. Whatever. So I did that, I put the new shortcuts in, and any second now it's going to fail, showing that that didn't work. But, of course, uh, with it not working, and you have all these done, you don't want to close, or like do the other option, which is to completely reinstall Adobe, which you don't want <laughs> to do. And there's that really loud goat sound. So we're gonna stop this, just completely stop. We're gonna reset the status for both of these. And, okay, so obviously that didn't work. Dynamic link server is screwed beyond beyond belief. What do you do? Well, if you go there to the source name, what you can do, or sequence name, you can right click and hit reveal source file. What this will do is allow you to open it right back up from Premiere. And then there, you can go ahead and redo the render through the standard Uh, thing Because you can still export it just fine. I don't know why Queuing it has such a hard time But it is it is good to know That you did not lose all the time you spent making those videos Those sequences projects, whatever you want to call them You can still find the source file by right-clicking the sequence and hitting the reveal source file and then you can uh, do it on your own time. So, yep. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys found it somewhat helpful. And, like, you can get all the things done in your media encoder. And then reinstall. That's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna see if that helps. So, I guess I'll let you know if it does or doesn't. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please go ahead and leave a like. 
favorite, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Thanks, Game Boy Out. I will see you in the next video.